In our previous videos, we discussed the possibility that the Matrix simulation in the fourth movie was created by the analyst to recreate the anomaly. That could indicate that all the characters we saw in Matrix Resurrections were simulated versions of the original characters. It was also previously mentioned that there could exist only one character who was still the same one from the previous movies. And that character is the Merovingian, one of the most powerful programs in the previous trilogy, whose current dilemma was not quite understood. Today we will be talking about what the Merovingian cameo meant for the movie. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. So what happened to the Frenchman? Being one of the most powerful programs in the Matrix, many thought that he was even more powerful than the Architect. The Merovingian was one of the few people who told Neo the truth telling him that he was trapped in a world of cause and effect, that nothing happened by chance. You see, there is only one constant, one universe that is the only real truth, causality. Action, reaction, cause and effect. Everything begins with choice. No, wrong. Choice is an illusion created between those with power. The Merovingian was also much older than what Neo thought. Handle us. You'll handle us. You know your predecessors had much more respect. In other previous videos, we theorized that the Merovingian could be one of the programs in charge of creating the first Matrix simulations. He was tasked with implementing cause and effect. Remember how he reprogrammed a dessert to cause a chemical reaction in a woman in his restaurant? I wrote it myself. It starts so simply, each line of the program creating a new effect, just like poetry. The fact that the Merovingian can modify the Matrix and his philosophy is so consistent with cause and effect could point to the fact that before the architect labeled the Oracle the mother of the Matrix, the Merovingian might have been the one in charge of giving stability to the equation. We know this because there is an obvious rivalry between the Merovingian and the Oracle. It is said they cannot be taken, they can only be given. What? The eyes of the Oracle. We also know that thanks to the Merovingian, other agents from past simulations, such as the Twins and Seraph, were able to escape to future simulations. The Merovingian created places like Mobile Ave to escape the resettings of the Matrix. What we think that happens is that at the end of each Matrix cycle, the Merovingian escapes with his cronies to one of these hidden simulations outside the Matrix, and then they enter the next one. That's how they survived assimilation or deletion. However, we believe that not all the credit should be given to the Merovingian. He just happens to be at the right place at the right time. The Merovingian needed to have the keymaker for Neo to eventually get to the Architect, not for him to escape cause and effect. Therefore, the Merovingian was also part of the Architect's plan. He just didn't know it. This means that the Architect allowed the Merovingian to continue to exist and continued the path of the One, but there was an issue. The Matrix Resurrections story revealed that sometime after Matrix Revolutions, a machine civil war broke out. Some machines did not want to continue with the truce. It was costing them too much energy, thus a bigger source of power was needed. This new larger source of energy was possibly thanks to the Anomalium, a secret location where Neo and Trinity were kept to generate and siphon a new, more powerful form of energy for the machines. The analyst's focus is guided to effectively produce energy for the Matrix. So the cause of the war between the machines was an energy deficiency from the release of too many blue pills from the Matrix. The architect used the exiles for his Matrix cycles. He used programs such as the Oracle, the Keymaker, and even the Merovingian to add their little grain of sand to the path of the One and later he would move them to the next simulation and start the cycle all over again. However, this changed with Neo, with the breaking of the path, the truce, and with the arrival of the analyst, and with him came a new version of the Matrix. We don't know what version the Matrix is in currently, but as far as we know, it might be pushing beyond version 100, from the beginnings of the machine civil war to the events of Matrix Resurrections. Hundreds or maybe thousands of years could have passed, Although Bugs did say that only 60 years have passed since Matrix Revolutions. 
Now then, the appearance of the Merovingian in Matrix Resurrections left people confused. During Neo and Smith's reunion, Bugs was notified that multiple low-frequency portals were appearing. It is then revealed that the Frenchman is still alive with several of his exiles. Their appearances were quite… let's say gauche. Before the Merovingian went into hiding, he resided in luxurious buildings, palaces, and nightclubs. Now he is on the lam from the analyst. He's a fugitive. This confirms that the architect allowed the Merovingian to live comfortably. Because now, with the new boss of the simulation, the Merovingian has nothing. Yet Merv blames Neo, or this version of Thomas Anderson, for his current accommodations. You? Oh, it is you! I told you all these years, I can't believe it. You stole my life! The Frenchman tells Neo that he stole his life from him. Neo ruined his plans. The Merovingian knew how the cycle worked, and he knew how to survive the transitions. Then Neo came along and screwed everything up. The truce broke the cycle, and the Merovingian was no longer useful. The purging of useless programs was swift, and the Frenchman lost his influence and life of luxury and power. You ruined every such my silky ass thing! We had grace. We had style, we had conversation, not this beep, 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 art, films, books, they were all better. Originality mattered. You gave us space, super suck, and couch flicks, climity, wiki, business, shit. We sadly cannot translate the Frenchman's creative swearing. The Hobo Vingian is ranting about how the new simulation is focused on technologies like the internet and video games. It is now a world devoid of originality and creativity, which is a big criticism from Lana Wachowski that she conveyed within her film. Also remember that the Merovingian was a trafficker of information. You know why we are here. Mm. I am a trafficker of information. I know everything I can. But where could an information broker exist in a simulation where knowledge is no longer power? Where everyone has quick and easy access to all the information in the world? And even worse, where art is corrupted and originality is dead. The Merovingian's life was highly sophisticated, prim and rich with culture, but he lost it all in the new simulation. Again, all thanks to Neo's meddling. Society no longer cares about art or socializing. They just want to stay glued to their smartphones. This is not over yet. I will sequel franchise spin-off. The Merovingian leaves and he is not seen again in the movie. So then, what was his purpose in the film? In other videos, we talked about how the Merovingian was a metaphor for social criticism. But if we kept the conversation exclusively on the lore of the Matrix, it's obvious that the Frenchman does not like the new version of the Matrix, since it's focused on emotions and feelings, as in illogical things. Everything that Merv considered to be of value was destroyed. He did not see the end of one more Matrix cycle. He witnessed the end of his reality of everything he believed to be correct. Now he stays out of sight of the analyst and tries to find meaning in this new simulation. Something else we would like to add is that the analyst was presented as a weak character. Smith easily dispatched him in the climax of the movie. But ask yourself this, why did the Merovingian look like a bum? How did one of the most powerful programs from the previous trilogy, who apparently was prepared for anything, lose all of his resources and is now on the run? We believe that the analyst is much more powerful than what the film leads on. Appearances can be deceiving, you know. This just reinforces our theory that everything that happened in Matrix 4 was another one of the analyst's experiments. So, the only character from the original trilogy that returned was the Merovingian. He is a shadow of his former self that could be the key to revealing the truth. But do you agree? Is the Merovingian the real Frenchman? and everyone else were simulated reproductions. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.